Hey, Moto America fans, this is Superbike rider Kyle Wyman. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Moto America YouTube channel for more coverage and also like or comment below. Here we go. It's time to get race action underway. Clutches are out and we're going racing and Sean Dillon Kelly with a great launch off the start. Richie Escalante trying to find some room up the inside, but SDK with a couple bike lengths will lead us into turn number one. It's a perfect spot for him. That's a great start. You know, that's the main thing. I think if you're going to think about anything about wrapping up a championship, you want to you want to get off to a good start. You don't want to be, uh, you know, a little late on the light there. We, we don't see SDK ever late on the light, but we don't want to have that happen. Shows me that his focus is where it needs to be, Greg, and he's got the first sort of 30 seconds of the way of this race out of the way uh, leading. And Escalante it looked like he was wanting to fire a shot down the inside. It's going to be hard to do it to SDK in a turn five as uh, he runs a pretty tight line in there every lap. You see Lockoff has also got off to a good start, as well as Benjamin Smith and Stefano Mesa there running fifth. Uh, too detrimental to his riding, and you can see Escalante gets a nice run, gets in the draft of that Suzuki, and is going to go past on the inside as they rip down into turn number one. Escalante is going to take the lead. A little further back, Mesa goes around the outside of Benjamin Smith as well, entering turn number one. You can see Rocco Landers there in sixth. So he's he's up a little bit closer to the leaders than he was yesterday, but he's got people in front of him. He's got to get past, does the number 97. And that's when you saw them make that late charge late in the race. But now these two starting to get away a little bit. Ooh, and we talked about, Hannah talked about stability oh. under braking for the Kawasaki of Richie Escalante and not that time in turn one. Yeah. And you know, the thing is, is that and look at Lockoff trying to have a look. Yeah, definitely all eyes on the 37 as they go three wide. And thought for a second that Lockoff might make another move on his teammate. So Kelly leads the way over Lockoff, Escalante, and now Stefano Mesa. And they'll be coming on the straightaway now. It'll be interesting to see. Can Lockoff get this drive out of this last corner and set his teammate up to try to pass him onto the front straightaway? And it looks like he is. M4X star Suzuki's going at it here at New Jersey down the straightaway. Sam Lockoff goes by the stripe and he will take the lead into turn number one. Sean Dillon Kelly may be making the decision that he's got a little bit more speed than his teammate Lockoff has now gone to the point. Blue flags will fly for lap traffic if you're new to Moto America. Here goes Escalante. It looks like he got a monster drive. Where did that come from? So Escalante will move himself into second spot. Maybe he heard Rocco Landers behind him and said it's time for him to start making some moves. Now Rocco Landers right now is going to have a tremendous draft as he comes on the front straightaway. He's going to have three riders right in front of him. Escalante goes sweeping around the outside of Lockoff as they come out of the last corner. He is going to take the lead down into turn number one. But getting back to my point, Sean Dillon Kelly's got three guys now he's got to think about, not just one. You can see right there that to win the championship, SDK, as we've talked about all during the course of the race, all he needs to do is finish seventh or better. So there's no big drama, no big risks that need to be taken if he goes into championship mode. But right now he's trying to get around his teammate and he just hugs the inside of the racetrack and just out corners his teammate. Yeah, but I'll be honest with you, Lockoff knew that was his teammate. And I'm really impressed with the head on his shoulders. He's riding super smart, doesn't want to get involved in the championship battle at all. And he's going to give his teammate some room. As soon as again, as soon as he saw that blue coming up the inside of him, he, he's not going to close the door on his teammate. That's, uh, that's good smart riding from him. Yeah, well, we're going to see Lockoff's done a nice job responding here. So it's going to be this turn 10 area again. Let's see if Lockoff can get through this corner. And you can see, look at this. Oh, there he Escalante goes. Escalante ends up running a little bit wide. SDK cars that GSXR. This is where Sam Lockoff has been the strongest through this corner and getting good drives. Under the bubble, Sean Dillon Kelly. Mm. There's Lockoff. Another great drive. Another great drive. And that'll slingshot him to the lead. As they break into turn number one, I can see behind him Rocco Landers trying to close the gap. Oh, Rocco but Rocco, a bit yeah, wide, he made he? a mistake, Jay. He really snatched the brakes hard, and the bike was moving around into turn one. Now it's just a matter. This is a whole different sensation for Sam Lockoff leading the 600 race towards the end. And let's see, is STK going to take a shot? He is, Greg. He's going to go down the inside oh! into turn number five, and he gets through. That is so close. Lockoff didn't want to give it to him. He's not scared. And Landers on that Landers Racing Tyrant Design Yamaha Yama Lube R6 trying to figure out how to get close enough to make a pass. But it's all about oh. these two Suzukis. Lockoff looked like he had a notion for a second. Can he draft him? Can he get by him before the line? No. That's the question. If he, if Sam Lockoff gets the drives he's been getting out of the final corner, it feels like 
the 40. Sean Dillon Kelly might be a sitting duck. Well, this is the turn right here. Turn 10 is the turn. And look at that little gap starting to open up. Now it's going to be a matter. Can Sam get he, Sam does a Ooh, nice job getting out of there. Great job. All right, so lock off. Oh, he loses a little bit of ground, he's but here be comes okay. the drive. He's going to be okay here. Watch. He's going to get in that draft, Greg. On to the front straight where we go. Lockoff goes wide. Here we go to the line. And it's going to be Sam Lockoff with the win by 40 thousandths of a second over his teammate Sean Dillon Kelly and Escalante. So M4X star Suzuki stands on top of the box. They'll be 1 2, but it's the young Lockoff who gets his first win in Super Sport. What a race! Congratulations coming in from Rocco Landers. And Lockoff can't believe it. Jason, if there was anywhere to be the strongest rider on the racetrack. That last corner is a good place, isn't it? It's a great and, place. And he was far enough back where he's going to get that slingshot draft. That's what you could see was happening there. He was at the perfect spot to do it, to draft by his teammate. And I think really the ability of him to stay close in turn number 10 was really the big difference the for Sam Lockoff. The was really good. You yep. can see SDK had a little bit of roll in the middle of the turn, but Lockoff did such a tremendous job getting off. This guy, we've watched him this whole year. I mean, Greg, he's made so few mistakes at, at the whole season being his first year on a 600, and uh, super encouraging. But how about this guy? Your new national champion, snatching the number one plate away from Richie Escalante in what has been an incredible season so far. We still have two races to go, but the teammates with a big hug. Sean Dillon Kelly, your 2021 Super Sport champion, his 15th podium of the season. Could that be a better view for Chris Ulrich right now than to no. see the new up-and-comer win a race? Yeah. And Good. the guy that was really last year, uh, you know, SDK had some, some hard things last year. I think he learned a lot about things, and he goes on and wins the championship this year. Wow. What a way to see a super sport race. As close as you like it. Four hundredths of a second, the margin of victory between Lockoff and Kelly, and 48 thousandths between Kelly and Escalante, and just another two tenths of a second back to Rocco Landers. We crowned a national champion, and you get to see only our fourth race winner in Moto America Super Sport of the season as SDK runs off the track and nearly tucked the front, but it's celebration time. For the 19-year-old Floridian. And you hear it from the fans. Congratulations to Sean Dillon Kelly and his national championship. When we come back, we're gonna hear about that race and then the new champion.